the one constant and more is that operations are going to be conducted on a schedule. We can see this in Operation Market Garden, D-Day, or even when troops are amassing on a border. In today's video, we're going to cover how to do that in Graviteam Tactics. But before we get started, if you like military strategy, tactics, or doctrine, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you look up here on the top right hand corner, you can see our support icons. In 5 minutes, 40 HE shells are going to fall on this bridgehead. And at se in 7 minutes, set 20 smoke mortars will fall into this village, providing cover for our force. Our troops need to be in position and launching their assault at least by 1510, or in 10 minutes. So, let's select our tanks down here, and let's select this set delay. Set delay allows you to increase the delay by 5, 15, or 30 minutes. You can also incrementally decrease it or increase it by one minute, as you can see right there. So if we select five minutes and hit the set delay, uh, apply delay, we can see these tank units will not move from this position until 1505. So if we were to hold shift, right click, and select move, these units at 1505 will move to position number one. However, we can set a delay for that position as well for 1515 and apply delay. Right click, move. Now these units at 1505 will move to this position, position one, but they will not leave position one until 1515. So if we hold shift right click and we just start placing more movement orders, we can see if once they leave this position at 1515, they will immediately go to position two, position three, and position four. Once they reach position four though, we hit the set delay icon, plus 30, apply, right click, move. From 1515, our unit at 1515, our units will go from here to position two, three, four. At four, they will sit in that position until 1530. Once 1530, once it's 1530, our units will move from that position to position five and continue along these random move orders until we set another delay of 1535, at which point our units are going to pause once more until 1535. So if we hit cancel, all our delays are gone and these units are no longer moving. So we're going to go over that one more time. So Let's select our tanks, hit left click, set delay, Fif five minutes, apply delay. Now we're going to hold shift, right click, move. From 15 at 15.05, our units will leave this position to position one. If we hit set delay, plus 15, apply. At 15.15, our units will leave this position and go to this position right here. Now, to further reiterate this point, we are going to create a group of units. How to do that? So there's two separate ways. We can left click, drag, select these units like that. See how they're all green? Now if we right click and select move, if we look here in the right hand corner, the game has automatically created a group for this move position for us. So if we were to click off of them, click them, it shows, but we can also click them one more time, right click, move, and it's always selecting that unit. So even if we selected this unit right here, click off them, select the unit, select group stall up here, it selects our tanks for us. Now that's a bit convoluted. We can do this the old school RTS way with control one or creating hotkeys. So if we hit this unit right here, down here on the left, stall, hold control and click Zorn, it's now selected these two units. We can hit control and then hit one. Now every time we hit the one key, it selects this group for us. So let's cancel our orders, click off our unit, hit one. Our group is selected. We want them to move into position right here. So. If we right click, select move, our, this group is going to move all the way to this position 
and th but we can't attack this village up here until at least 1510. So we need to hit set delay. 1515, we'll say 1512 to give ourselves some time. We will apply this delay. And then we're going to hold shift, right click, attack, vehicles by road. We let go of shift first. Fifteen, 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 twelve. Apply. Hold Shift. Right click up here. Attack. So that means our units at fifteen, twelve are going to attack this position. So let's watch that happen. So everything should work relatively seamlessly. So if we hit right click and speed it all up. If we watch our timer up here in the right hand, left hand corner. Our mortars are going to fall in 4 minutes, in 24, 10, 6 minutes, and 10. So everything is seamlessly working. All our units are moving into place. All our equipment's getting ready to fall. The only thing we didn't account for is how long our mortars are going to fall for. So since we're dropping close to 40 rounds, 60 rounds actually, that that needs to take at least seven minutes. So let's get all our units going. Let's get everyone in position. They're all moving in a line formation, which is ideal for large planes. And we can see here, like even crossing this field, it takes an enormous amount of time. So we need to consider that before setting up our plan. Everyone needs to get in formation. All right, our mortars are going to begin falling. 58 seconds till smokes can fall. Our accuracy is a bit off on those mortars. They're a bit short. So that's not good. They're not really suppressing the village for us. Our tanks have identified enemies in the village. Begin, they've begun firing on them. So since our mortars are currently inaccurate, our infantry and our assaulting force is going to be delayed. They're coming under heavy enemy fire. So in reality, we really need our units to get into position and we need these smoke mortars to start firing. We still have 24 mortars that are should be falling. Everything's falling a bit short, which is unfortunate. Luckily, we have our tanks that are moving forward. There we go. We have some mortars hit right there. All right, remember, it's 1510. These units are going to sit here for another minute. At 1512, they're going to advance on this village. All right, our smoke mortars are currently preparing. If you look here in the upper right hand corner. They've identified small, a small contingent of units right here in this position. So in another minute, 1512, remember, here's our timer, 1511. 1512 we're going to start our actual assault here comes our smoke screen our accuracy is actually really really off for our mortars which is unfortunate however it's given us a large flank over here on the right a large smoke screen on our right hand side so this is actually a really good learning opportunity because we are mortaring our own troops even though we've designated the town to be, have a smoke screen on it. So our accuracy is a bit off, <laughs> but in the end it's kind of useful <laughs> even though it's obscuring our units, it's providing them with smoke cover, but it's also killing them, you know, because incendiary is really hot. Alright, as everyone, so we hit one. see that everyone's slowly moving into position 
and our assault, while not perfect, is working out. You guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.